everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun pocket thoughts card for you. Um, the pocket thoughts bundle gives you these three pocket dies, um, which are great. I have actually three videos, one for each little pocket die to show you different ways to use them. And this littlest one, I was thinking, you know, that is such a cute little pocket. What kind of things can we put in that pocket that we already have stamps for? And I thought about the paint brushes from the Trusty Tools stamp set. So we're using the Trusty Tools stamp set as well, along with the Trusty Tool dies. We're gonna cut out that pegboard and you'll use the paintbrush die to cut out the paintbrush. Uh, we're gonna use a art and texture to add texture to our pocket and some paint splatters in the back. And last but not least, these little paint, really cool paint shapes are cut with this die from the, um, Oh, now I'm drawing a blank. The Friends die, I'll have it listed on the on the PDF for you. Um, it's a really wonderful uh, bundle, actually. Okay, well, let's get started. Well, the only stamp that we are using from the Pocket Thoughts this time is the Happy Birthday. All right, well, let's start with our stamping. We're going to stamp our paintbrush three times. And the... Trusty Tools stamp set actually has some images, some stamped images that you can use to fill in. They're called filler images. Let's see if I can bring that back over. So you could use this and this to fill in your paint brushes with color, but I love to color with my Stampin' Blend. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Crumb Cake and color in my brush, the handle with light crumb cake. Okay. And then I'm going to take smoky slate light and color that little metal part in. And then I want to put just a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. So I'm just going to take my light Pumpkin pie, I'll also use peach pie and add just a little bit of paint there. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them and come back. I'm gonna cut them out with the matching die and I'll come right back. All right, I cut out all three of my paint brushes with my paintbrush die. And let's start over here. We've got some other stamping to do. We need to stamp our sentiment, happy birthday. We'll stamp that in pumpkin pie right there on a small stylus shape square. All right, and then we're going to add some texture, as I mentioned before, to our small uh, pecan pie pocket. And I'm gonna use this kind of brushed texture here. And I'm gonna stamp off and then stamp. I don't want the texture to be overpowering maybe even stamp off twice. All right, we're just gonna kind of give it a little rough look because if it's in the garage with some paint brushes, you know, it might be a little dusty, it might be a little roughed up. Okay, now let's bring over our really cool pegboard. This is a piece of pecan pie that I cut the pegboard out of. And I am going to put some tear and tape on the back of my, let's start over here. And I'm gonna actually trim these to match. So I don't want that sticking out. Let's see if this little one will fit here at the bottom of our pocket. There we go. And then we need one more little piece. I love it when the angle matches the angle that we need. All right, now grab your, take your pick tool, pull off that backing like that. And then we're just gonna fold that in and set that kind of about one row in 
see that one row on the side and kind of there in the middle like that. Let's poke that little one out there. All right, now get two of your paint brushes and we'll take one and stick it in like that. And I'm gonna get a glue dot for this one. Actually, we probably should get a glue dot for both of them so that they don't fall out. Stick that one in like that. And then this one we'll have just kind of up like that. Hmm, I kind of liked this one in front of that one so you can see more of that handle. There we go. All right, I'm overthinking it. Now, grab your dimensionals, which mine are right here, and we'll put this other one just kind of leaning up on the side of our pocket like that. Okay, now how about that card base? Let's get our thick white card base. And we are gonna use peach pie and that really cool paint splatter. And I'm gonna stamp each time and then stamp again so that we have some light and some dark. And you wanna turn your stamp each time so that your paint splatters are going different directions. You don't want them to all be the same. All right, I'm just gonna go around the edge because that's all you're really gonna see after we put our um, pegboard in. Mm. I tend to overthink these. Really just stamp, stamp, stamp is really all you need to do. One more right there. Okay, so now we've got the paint splatter. Let's get our paint stripes that we die cut. And here is my adhesive. We'll just put this one about right there. And this one overlapping down here like that. And then we're gonna get this, and I'm gonna use my foam adhesive strips to squeeze in on those edges so that you can't see them through the holes. I'm just gonna kind of cut a couple like that. One on the outside. And one more on the top. Like that. And we're gonna put that right in the middle. And then we'll add this sentiment, of course, with a dimensional as well. Just kind of hanging off like that. Then I pulled out these awesome new industrial trinkets. And I'm gonna use glue dots on these. And I think I'm gonna use three. So one, two, and three, and then I'll get my take your pick tool, which will just make it really easy. We're gonna put one there, and we'll put one here, and maybe one, we'll put two like that. All right, now how about we add a little bit of paint splatter on the inside as well? Carry over that theme. And there you go, a great, I was gonna say masculine birthday card, but I have a daughter and a mother who are artists, and I think this would make a great birthday card for them as well, so not just for the guys in your life. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, get that free PDF, and check out the other Pocket Thoughts projects, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.